Good morning, everyone. Happy, what the heck is today? Happy Sunday, July 5th, the day after Independence Day. I am Pam. This is my channel where I talk about cross stitch, everything that I cross stitched in the past week or so, and everything I plan on cross stitching for the next week. Um, so if you are obsessively into cross stitch, this is the right place for you. <laughs> um, okay, so a little bit of life updates. Um, this has felt like the week that was three years long. I, it took, this week took forever. I feel like I got no stitching done, but then when I compiled everything I've stitched this week, I pretty much touched like three quarters of my whips. So, which isn't a lot. I don't know if I've talked about this before. So if this is a retelling of a story, I apologize. Um, I'm only allow myself to have 12 whips at any given time. And I keep them in my, I have a little bullet journal, upside down bullet journal. Um, if you don't know what a bullet journal is, there's about 50,000 YouTube videos about them. But I keep a whip list and I'm allowed to have 12. So if I have an open space, so I have one space open right now. So right now I have 11 whips, which means I can fill in one space. When I finish one, then I add another number at the bottom to know that I've got more space to start things. Does that make sense? I feel like it does. So at the beginning of the year, I started with 12 and then as I finished things, I added more lines. It's, it's, it's not complicated. I mean, maybe I'm making it more complicated than it is, but anyway, I am only allowed to have 12 whips. I have 11 at the moment. I touched a ton of them this week, but not a lot got done on any one thing. Um, so, also, what did I do this week? Ooh, my mom and I started our berry bowl sampler, so I'll be showing that. Um, Friday, my husband and I got pedicures. That was a lot of fun. Um, he gets probably one, maybe two during the summer season. He really enjoys it. Um, and we had gotten gift certificates from his parents for Christmas, and then we couldn't go. So normally we would have gone in May, and it we went on July 3rd, so there you go. But it got done and now my toes are pretty and his toes are pretty and um, he doesn't put polish on them, but they still look like 95% better than they did before. Um, so we did that on Friday. Uh, it has been a stormy week here in Rhode Island. We had, I don't remember what day it was, but we had a, so much rainfall in such a short period of time this week that the my road that I live on was a river like it had a current it the water was high enough that it was I don't know it had to have been at least four inches deep because it was cresting the sidewalk it was it was a little bit intense um we have we've had a lot of thunder and a lot of rain this week so then it was nice to have a gorgeous day yesterday so fourth of July yesterday I woke up feeling a little bit sad um we have a in-ground pool in the backyard and every year since we've lived in this house, we've had some sort of barbecue slash pool party. We've had really big ones. We've had small ones where it's just, you know, my family, which is still actually really big. So I have four sisters. Most of them all have kids. So my family getting together is, is pretty intense anyway. Um, and this year we didn't do anything. Um, so it was a little bit, I was a little bit sad, but then it ended up being such a beautiful day. And it was my husband and I and, the, and our and our two youngest, our boys who are not young. They're, you know, my youngest is 16, almost 17. Um, and we sat out by the pool all day and we made barbecue type food. We did grilled chicken and corn on the cob and pasta salad. And, and then nighttime came and when, uh, nighttime was intense. So, Every year in my city, and I imagine it's like this everywhere, every year in my city, um, although it was, I keep taking this story backwards. Growing up, my the town I lived in was not like this. Nobody did homemade fireworks. Um, you went to your, your fireworks display in the next town over, the big one the city put on, and that was that. Um, but the city I live in now, everybody sets off fireworks. And, and normally I enjoy it. We'll do nighttime swimming and we'll watch the fireworks all around the house and it's really fun. This year, it was overwhelming. It was like, 
it felt like an assault on my eyes and ears. I could handle about 15 minutes on my back porch. It started about eight o'clock and it was still going at, when I woke up, when, when I woke up around like 1230 at night, my husband came to bed and I woke up and it was still going. It was like people were having full out fireworks displays on top of my house well past midnight last night. So I'm glad that's over. I'm hoping that doesn't continue tonight. It was intense and I just, it was a lot. I don't know if it's because um, just there's so much less stimulation in my life right now that I couldn't handle the fireworks this year. Um, I'm hoping that's not forever. Um, maybe it's just a this year thing. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, on another note, our Basset Hound has atypical Addison's, so she can't handle stress really well. She gets prednisone daily. And when there's fireworks, we have to double dose her. And I feel like last night we should have quadruple dosed her. When she, when she is not getting the right amount of, of prednisone, um, I don't really know how Addison's work. She doesn't have regular Addison's. She has atypical Addison's. Um, but she just starts to shut down when when it's not all balanced properly and stress makes it go all out of whack. So I'm hoping that that was the end. I mean, we've been having daily fireworks since probably the end of April, but you know, maybe like five or less a night you'll hear. We can handle that. I'm hoping that this was the end of the 4th of July fireworks. Anyway, that was a lot of talk about fireworks. I apologize. Um, anyway, let's talk about stitching because I'm almost seven minutes in and we have not talked about stitching except for my whip list, which is a little bit like stitching. Okay, what did I work on? Um, I promised you last week that I would show where I am at with the um, Carolyn Manning's temperature stitch along. That's this, the granny square temperature stitch along by Carolyn Manning's. Um, I'm dropping my floss everywhere. Fantastic. I am stitching this on 16 count antique white Ada. So here's where I am. So I am officially halfway. Um, this blue right here was July 1st. Nope, that's not right. June 1st and this one, nope. Yes, this one. I always, I put a white, not white, yellow, um, a twall around the first of each month so I can find them, which you, they sparkle, but you probably won't see them sparkle. So this was July 1st. So from here to here was July. You can see it got, it got noticeably warmer, a lot of oranges and reds. So that's where I'm at there. And I don't, I don't think I'll show it next week. I might not show it again until August. So you can see a whole chunk at once. I think that sounds like fun. I'm gonna have to disappear out of sight for a sec so I can put, pick this floss up off the floor because it wouldn't be good if I lost it. Okay, so that was that. Um, and then I stitched on a whole bunch of stuff. I was all over the place. I knew I had too many things planned. Um, yeah, so anyway, I brought out, well, first I stitched on my A Year A Hawker on Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. I said that I needed to finish the church for June and to start, I had not start, I had to finish the block, the black border for April so that I could get down to the black border for July. That was my plan. The plan, <laughs> the plan did not get completed. Um, I just couldn't, I felt like I had too many things I needed to be doing and it just, it didn't happen. Um, this is getting stitched on 40 count, uh, picture this plus legacy. So I got the chart. Well, I thought, yes, I did. I got the church all the way done. So the church is all the way done. Um, I swapped out the color of the roof and the color of the trim around the windows. They were supposed to be like a reddish color. Um, I made them black and then I made the door red and I thought it was cute. So, I mean, I would consider that I'm about halfway done. That looks like halfway. I still have to write the word June down here. Um, I still have to do that like rose trellis over here and I have to put in the bride. Um, 
So that will happen next year, next June. Oh, and then I got the border started for April and that's that. I have not started July. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to come out in July. I've got a lot of things I want to play with and this just isn't one of them. I, and I don't know if it's because I had a hard time stitching this in March and April and May, which is why they're missing. Um, because we had a lot of COVID happening. And I think that's my problem with this again, even though Rhode Island's numbers are really low, I'm feeling a little bit anxious about what's happening in the rest of the country. And for whatever reason, I have a hard time stitching on this when I'm feeling anxious. So we'll see. We'll see if I make any, I'm not even going to make any plans for this week, by the way, because I mean, maybe a small amount of plans on things that I really want to do, but not obligation plans, because I I'm feeling like obligation plans are not what my brain wants right now. So, oh, well, which means I also, I did do some work on my plan for Jolly July was to get two more of my ornaments stitched and I did get some work done. I just don't think I'm going to get two done. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, they are from the Ultimate Cross Stitch Christmas magazine, which was volume 23, 2019. There are these snow globe ornaments. They are by Emma Congdon. I'll show you a picture of them closer. They're super cute. Super cute. So I have, here I am peeking up over the top. I have the one with the church done and now I'm working on the sweaters. So let me grab it out. This is getting stitched on 32 count light blue something or other. It's Lugana. I never remember what this is. I have a light blue Lugana because it's suit. It's it pretty much is what it is. I guess there's no fun color name that makes it easy. I can remember the fun color name. I struggle with just knowing it's light blue Lugana. Anyway, it's 32 count. So this is the one I already have done. This is the one I've been working on. So since you saw it last, I started on this house over here and these trees. I got these trees in. I got that little sledder guy in and she's waving at the sledders and I got some snow. That's that's not bad. That was like two nights of stitching. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I'm, I'm gonna get this done. So that one, I, lo I love this. Maybe, maybe, maybe it won't feel like an obligation because I'm really enjoying it. Every time I get it out, I love them. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, and then Sunday, part three of the, um, Oh, I already talked about this. This was almost two weeks ago now. I finished part three. I I don't know if this is the end. I Is this the end? Somebody, I don't know where I read somewhere that there's a part four. But if there's not a part four, then this is a finish. If there is a part four, then it's just a finish of part three. So maybe this is a finish and maybe it's not. It is being stitched on 16 count chocolate raspberry Ada. So I got, this was part three, all of these flowers and this flower or not that flower. I can't remember now. Um, and the second Robin. So that's super cute. It's super cute. Yeah. I've really enjoyed this. If there, if there is a part four, I will happily stitch it. And if there's not, I really enjoyed this and I will count it as a finish and I will make room on my whip list for something else. Because I have two starts planned for July and um, I'm feeling a little like I don't have space for two starts, which means something has to finish. Although if I don't meet my, my, um, my Christmas ornament goals, I'm not going to start a new start on the 25th. So that'll solve that problem right there. And then this is the one I'm super duper excited about. Um, my mom and I got together Monday night and we started the Berry Bowl Sampler. So this is a collaboration between the Scarlet House and, I mean, we've all seen this, but if you have not, it is a collaboration between the Scarlet House and um, 
heartstring samplery and my mom is stitching one side and I'm stitching the other side and I I let my mom choose since this was her first cross stitch project in like 3,000 years um I'm going to tell you a funny story about it too, but give me a minute. Um, I let her choose the fabric. So she chose Ren and she chose this side. So she's stitching the left side and I'm stitching the right side, but I'm stitching on Heartland and she's stitching on Ren. And somebody asked me what we're going to do, like how we're going to do the one, uh, not the one over one, the um, over one stitching in the middle here on the Ada and I'm torn between, I mean, if we keep it, we will do um, half stitches. I'm wondering, I'm not, so it says life is sweeter when shared with friends, which is adorable. I'm not into like sweet little sentimental sayings. It's, it's not my thing. So I don't know if I take out this whole, I forget what you call these things. They've got a, a name. My brain is broken. I can't think of it. Um, I don't know if we'll stitch something else here instead, like take out this whole thing, maybe two birds facing each other, or I don't know what we'll do, but, and I have not talked to my mom about this. She may want the the little cute saying, I, I'm not feeling it. We'll see what happens. But if we keep it, we'll do half stitches. All right, so this is, where I got, so this is getting stitched on 14 count because um, I thought 14 count was a good choice for my mom to reintroduce herself to stitching and I was right. And I got the this berry bowl done. It's so cute. I enjoyed that. I'm tr And this is, uh, sorry, it's 14 count Heartland by Picture This Plus. Really pretty fabric. Um, it's kind of nice to ha to stitch on a 14 count because it's just easy. It's easy stitching. Um, I'm trying not to go. I really wanted to just jump right into the next, the next motif, but I, I don't want to get too far ahead because I don't want to discourage my mom. So I, I figure I can do one a week and, or if my mom tells me she finished one, then I can start another before a week. I felt like that was a good pace to give my mom some breathing room. So I'm at my mom's house Monday night and she's, she's stitching along <laughs> and I'm like, Oh mom, show me what you've done. And she's, she shows me and I'm like, no mom, that's the back. <laughs> show me the front. <laughs> I'm a terrible daughter. It was, I, and, and she's like, this is my stitching. I'm like, no mom, that's I like more than once, probably like five times. It was not her back. <laughs> it was the front. <sighs> I'm bad. It was, you know, her tension is a little off. She'll get used to it. And in her defense, she was stitching with a really dark color on a lighter fabric. And, you know, that can be tricky. So, my poor mom. She loves me. She wasn't discouraged. She, she continued on. But yeah, I was dying. We, we were both laughing so hard. <sighs> and then, all right, last thing I stitched on this week. This is going to be a fast one, I think. Well, maybe not. I'm almost 20 minutes in. Oh, yeah, I think we'll be done in 30 minutes or less. I don't have a lot extra to talk about. Okay, so yesterday was the 4th of July. I got some pool stitching done. First pool stitching of the year. I don't usually like to stitch at the pool, but it wasn't very humid yesterday. And I thought... I want to stitch and I want to sit at the pool. We're going to combine those things. So I stitched on um, Bendy Stitchy's Personal is Political yesterday. And and I thought that, and I this is the one I brought out to the pool because I'm like, it's small. It won't take up a lot of space in my lap, except I forgot that I was stitching it on this. I mean, this is going to be a fat quarter, I think. Um, this is 40 count Salt Marsh by r, &R. So the the stitching is small and was not going to take up a lot of space on my lap but the fabric was was quite big and I stitch in hand so it doesn't all get like wrapped around a I'm very drapey when I stitch I do it drapes and it's all over me I don't do the rolling thing 
um, again, which is why my stitching is atrociously wrinkly all the time. And I am a leave my needle in the fabric person. I know it's bad. You don't, you don't have to tell me, but I know it's bad. Um, but I do it anyway, because I will lose needles anyway. So this is what I got done. I've got to get this thread out of the way. I, everything on the personal, which I'm, I'm showing you the back of my fabric. Wow. After that whole like story, um, I got everything from the E done this bird, which I messed up on. So all of this, come on, focus. Is it focusing? I don't know if it's going to focus. So you can see there's a strip where I don't have anything stitched right here because everything is over too far. And here's the thing. I don't want to take it out and redo it. There's space for it to be a bigger bird. So I think it's just going to be a little bit of a fatter bird. And that's fine. Not all birds are the same. And then I started on the butterfly moth. I'm not sure which, which insect it is. Um, butterfly or moth? I don't know. Both insects, frankly, they creep me out. But uh, moths more so than butterflies. I don't like either one. Um, but moths really, really, really bother me. But I like the way they look when they're all stitched up. I just don't like them fluttering around me or touching me. And I don't like to know a lot of things about them. So yeah. Anyway, that's what I did yesterday while I was hanging out at the pool. And that was it. That was all I stitched. Um, what do I plan on stitching this week? I'd like to get another berry bowl done because that was super fun and I've had to hold myself back. Um, and other after that, it's just going to be whatever I feel like, I think. Um, within, re well, there's, hold on, if you know, all the time. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna stitch on. I have no plans except to get another berry bowl done. I'm not gonna put any like constrictions on myself this week. Whatever I wanna stitch is what I'm gonna stitch. And that is what it is. Okay, I did get, what did I do? In case you missed it, although I think the sale is over now, so this is this will be too late for you to do anything about. I apologize. But Joanne's had DMC for 40 cents a skein. Um, so I got myself over to Joanne's this week and I already bobbinated them because as a family at night, we've been watching Bones, which is one of our favorite series. And my, so we, our TV room is down in our finished basement and it's dark down there. And the lovely boys in my house don't understand that I'd like to stitch and watch TV at the same time. And they want to watch TV in the dark. And I feel like I'll give that to them. But I'm like, I can bobbiny in the dark. So that's what I did. Even though I didn't show you all my DMC stash acquisition beforehand, I still bobbinated. So this is what I got. I'm like, my millhill beads are gonna come falling out. Um, I decided to buy all of the floss I was missing, all the new ones at the beginning. So I got one, is that a one? One through 35. Some of them they didn't have. So these four rows were all my new, all my new DMC. Um, this is how I store my DMC, by the way, since I've got it out and I'm showing you. I have two of these and this one holds up through the 800s. Nope, the 700s. And then the second one holds um, 800s through the 3000s. So yeah, I was happy. I, I love the way they look all in their little storage containers, bobbinated up. There's something about this. It's satisfying. Okay. Then I had Charm School needle minders. These are going to, I, so I did buy some needle minders. Actually, I won one. Two Martini Stitcher had done a giveaway and I won a needle minder of my choice from Char the Charm School. It's Charm school. I don't, I'm not going to be saying this right. Hold on. I don't have, it's charm school. It's charm school. Okay. And they come in these like cute little, these cute little packages. So I won one from two martini stitcher. Like 
They're so cute. I am not this creative, which we all know, or crafty. Um, oh, speaking of being crafty, while I was at Joanne's, I also picked out some backing. I'm going to make a pillow out of my Clementine and it will happen this week. So that is a plan. I'm going to my mom's house. She has cutting tools. She has um, a sewing machine. <laughs> So I'll be doing that. Hopefully it'll come out good and I can show you next week that it was amazing. Um, and if not, I don't know, it could be bad. Anyway, so I got to find the one I won. I won, that's not it. I won one from Two Martini Stitcher. And so she put me in contact. I think it's Allison from It's a Charm School. And I told her she could just send me whatever she wanted to. So she gave me a Harry Potter. I do like Harry Potter immensely. Um, so she gave me a Harry Potter needle minder. And the back is this cute little button. Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. It's so cute. Now, um, I stitch in hand and I don't use needle minders, but I might start, or I might just decorate my stitching storage area with them. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna try to stick one on there and then i saw that she had posted which i'll show last this adorable zipper pull that i had to have in my life i saw her post it on instagram and while i was there i saw this hedgehog needle minder and oh my gosh it's so cute so my youngest um has the craziest hair and i always call him my my little angry hedgehog because he doesn't like to wake up in the morning Still, I mean, at 16, I guess nobody likes to wake up in the morning, but always he has never liked to wake up in the morning. So he's my angry little hedgehog. So I had to look at a little hedgehog needle minder and the back of it is this super pretty like rose flowery thing. It's so cute. Okay. And then what got me on her site was this zipper pull. Oh my gosh. It's a jar of buttons. They're so cute. Hold on. I don't want the glare. It's so cute. They're little buttons. They're little buttons. It's so cute. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. I own two project bags. <laughs> so I don't have a lot of accoutrement. So I don't know. We'll see. I couldn't resist it though. It was stinky cute. And then when you order from her, she gives you this like I don't really know what to do with these things because I'm not crafty, but I'll figure something out. They're like little paper doodads. Some of them are stickers and some of them are just like paper. And like you get that, she just sends them to you. And I don't know. Hmm, this looks good to me right now. I don't know what I'm gonna, but there was a whole, but there's a whole bunch of them and they, these are amazing. I, I don't, I assume she makes these little envelopes. They're so cute. So anyway, I don't know. We'll figure something out. I am determined to get craftier. So yeah, that was everything I added to my, to my supplies. And that's all I have, except in my organization this week, I came across a second Clementine chart. I have two. I'm not quite sure how that happened. I think I won one and I think I bought one because I forgot I won one is what happened. So what I'm going to do is pass along my second one to you guys. Um, yeah. So I'll do a giveaway. This is my first giveaway. <laughs> I am a little, I have no idea what I'm doing. We're going to make it work. If you would like to win Clementine, um, just tell me that you'd like to stitch Clementine down in the comments. Do not mention a giveaway. Um, do please be 18 because you cannot give me your address for me to ship this to you. If you are not 18, um, it would be amazing if you were a subscriber, but I'm not going to make that mandatory. I just want to pass along pass along an extra, pass along the stash. So again, if you want to stitch Clementine, let me know. And what if you will win it for next week's video? 
How does that sound? So you have all the way until I stitch my next floss tube to be in the running for this. And that's it. That's all I got. 30 minutes. Yay. So have a great week and get a lot of stitching done. And I will see you next Sunday. Bye everyone.